In this highlights video, we'll overview Studio 3T's aggregation editor. To begin, select a collection to query. We'll be using the housing collection, which lists housing availability in Chicago. Then, click the aggregation editor icon in the global toolbar. The aggregation editor opens in its own tab. Alternatively, we can open this by right-clicking the collection and choosing Open Aggregation Editor. As we can see, the first stage of our query is automatically generated. By default, Studio 3T creates one with a dollar match operator. Let's click the Run button to execute the query. And at the bottom, there are tabs where we can see our results. The Pipeline Output tab is where we view the output of the full pipeline. And by clicking the Count Documents button at the bottom, we can see there are 226 documents in this collection. Stage Input Output is where the inputs and outputs are displayed in their respective panels, Stage Input and Stage Output. As we can see, the document count is also 226. We haven't narrowed our search yet, so the output is the same as the input. Query code allows for translating queries into different programmable languages. And the explain helps visualize your information. Now going back to the top, with stage one and with each subsequent stage that we can create, the operator can be changed using the operator dropdown. Clicking the plus button creates a new query stage in the pipeline. We can then select our operator and query code manually. We can also duplicate a stage, move entire stages earlier or later in the pipeline by moving them with the up and down arrows, and delete a stage by selecting and clicking the trash icon. And above, we can either run a query as shown before, load an existing query, save a query, view query history, and copy and paste a query to another server location. And like in Teleshell, the aggregation editor also offers the assistance of the AI helper for AI query generation. As a quick example, say we want to know which zip codes have the most availability of senior housing units. The AI helper has generated relevant MongoDB code in the form of a two-stage query in our pipeline. And with this aggregated MongoDB query in place, we can execute the query with both stages selected or we can disable an individual stage when testing. In this instance, we are just going to run the query with both selected. And below, we can see our answer in the pipeline output. There are 47 documents showing zip codes for senior housing units in Chicago, with the zip code of 60653 having the most, listing 2,527 total units as being available. And this same data can also be seen in tree, and JSON view. And in the stage input section, we can see that we started with 226 documents, and the stage output lists the 47 results. Studio 3T makes aggregating queries easy. Please see our other highlights videos on getting more from MongoDB with the power of Studio 3T. Thanks for watching and happy querying stage by stage.